Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Swipe up 149, the episode of the show, the show where I share some of my Instagram posts that I've seen and I enjoy. Uh, A lot of news stories, my comments and opinions on them. Uh, You know, that's what the show is. For those that don't know what Swipe Up is, that's what it is. Let's get it started, shall we? Starting off with something that I am a big fan of, Scarlett Johansson, the star of the newly released Black Widow, Disney production, Marvel production, uh, is suing Disney for uh, putting Black Widow on streaming uh, because the original contract that she signed uh, did not have, uh, you know, was supposed to be released theatrically. I'm sure there was language in there uh, that specifically uh, laid out the release schedule uh, for the different kind of um, markets that it would hit. And like many uh, movie studios, Warner Brothers had the big deal with HBO Max doing their day and date releases, which a lot of actors had a big uh, problem with. And I'm sure people are suing Warner Brothers uh, for that as well. Uh, but Scarlett Johansson is suing Disney, which I love. I am not a fan of Disney. I think the fact that people worship Disney and Disney properties is disgusting. I think the company is designed, their business model is designed to sap money away from people who love their content, uh, whether it be regurgitating old classic animated films into lesser uh, live action uh, pieces of dog shit, or uh, taking a a franchise like Star Wars and just running it into the ground with mediocrity, aside from the Ryan Johnson film, which is the best Star Wars film, but you know, uh, you know, and, and Marvel, it's like they buy up everything. They're just buying up every property, every IP, every production company. Uh, Disney is eventually going to own all of movies, uh, which is horrible. It's horrible for any one company to own uh, so many things. Be, I mean, it's just like, just like everything, uh, there's only a few companies that own everything. And it's just, you know, these... Name brands that they own that uh, make it seem like there's a lot of competition. <laughs> there's really no competition uh, at all. It's 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 you know just giant companies uh, competing against themselves. You know, not really any other companies. It's there. Disney is releasing movies that compete with other Disney movies on a regular basis. Uh, but yeah, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, will she win it? You know, there there probably will be some kind of settlement. Disney is taking the stance of like, oh, but, you know, it's for the COVID. We're trying to be good COVID people. Meanwhile, during the pandemic, Disney raised the price of pay-per-views two separate times for UFC fights. Uh, since Disney is the exclusive broadcaster of UFC in the United States uh, and they're in charge of the pay-per-views. Uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, they raised the price and then did it again. Uh, within the year, raised the price again. Uh, and at that point, I was, you know, I'm, I'm over it. I'm not going to be spending that much money, uh, especially on a sport where the, the owner is such a huge uh, supporter and the potential dictator that, that could have been. Uh, in Trump. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't think Disney's a good company. Uh, I don't like the fact that they own everything. I don't like the fact that so many people don't have a problem with it. Like they don't they don't have any problem with it. And uh, Disney just doesn't doesn't care at all. Like this this fake like, oh, we're doing it for COVID. We're doing a good thing. Like Disney's stance on on all that is just so false and and just a fraudulent thing to make Scarlett Johansson look bad. It's like she's complaining because she's not given the money that she was going to be getting. And Disney broke the cup, I would imagine. But, you know, Disney's probably got a bit more money than Scarlett Johansson probably has a few more lawyers that I mean Disney's 
one of the most well-known companies for suing people that that any that at all references any of their content. They they just shut you down. Um, so yeah, it's uh, that's uh, literally cops play Disney music so that people who are filming them committing crimes will get their videos pulled down for copyright because Disney is super litigious with their copyright. Uh, so that's, I mean, they're using Disney to, to pull down, like as a loophole, to pull down police abuse uh, or, or police committing crimes. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope Scarlett Johansson, there's another Disney, uh, the actress who was in the 101 Dalmatians live action remake, uh, Disney live action remake, um, is also suing. Uh, for the same reasons. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm sure there's just going to be a settlement and they'll never work for Disney again or any of Disney properties, uh, which is disgusting. It's like a business practice that somebody like uh, Weinstein would have you know, employed back in his reign. And now Disney, the Disney Corporation, is uh, taking advantage of people. Disney doesn't do anything good for people. They just want your money. That's all they care about. All they care about. If there was profit in them, like, killing you, they would do it. But instead, they, they just sell you the same thing five times. Like, oh, come and get, come and get the Black Widow. Pay a, a premium price for the streaming, right? Pay, like, 30 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever they charge. Ridiculous price uh, to rent this movie. Uh, their service, premium price. Eventually, it's going to be on their service, but you have to wait for it. So you're, you're paying for the service. You're paying for the rental. And then they're going to release, like, uh, a Marvel Supercut. So then you're going to get that. You know, Then you're going to get the 25-year anniversary cut. Boom, you're going to get that. Which, you know, when those get released, they're going to be the premium rental thing. Like, Disney doesn't care. They just want all of your money. Uh, but, yeah. Good on Scarlett Johansson. I am an even bigger fan. I have not seen Black Widow yet. Don't have a desire to. I mean, I'm, I will when I can, I guess. Uh, but I don't have Disney+. Plus. Um, so there's a lot of Disney movies that you're, you're just never going to hear me talk about. Because I don't... Uh, I, my goal is to spend as little money uh, to Disney uh, as possible. It's not going to change anything. But at least it makes me feel good that I'm not contributing to something that I think is just, I mean, they're, they're selling mediocrity at a premium price. That's all they're doing. Um, and it's, I don't know, it, it is what it is. And I'm sure Black Widow is a fun movie. I enjoyed the Marvel movies. Uh, but a lot of what Disney puts out and a lot of the, the fact they own everything is disgusting. Uh, but let's move on. Let's move on to a bit of scary news that happened, especially if you are a Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul fan or just a Bob Odenkirk fan at all for any of the many projects uh, that he's done over the years. Uh, had a bit of a medical scare, had a bit of a heart issue, a mild heart attack. Uh, it's, he's said to be fine, uh, but the, you know, the statement came out, Bob Odenkirk passes out or whatever on set of Better Call Saul. Uh, which is an amazing, not only is Better Call Saul just an amazing show on its own, but the fact that it's a spinoff prequel show to another historic, historically great show in Breaking Bad. Like, that's, that's amazing to not only have, I mean, I guess, similarly, if I had to compare it to two other shows, it would be Cheers and Frasier. Like, Frasier was a spinoff of Cheers. But this one, I mean, not, not a sitcom. This is, you know, single camera drama. Uh, but Better Call Saul is amazing. So good. So good. It's, it's crazy that a, a pre... I, it's just going to be insane whenever they match the two series together, uh, which has got to happen. I mean, that's got to be the plan to eventually merge... Uh, Better Call Saul and uh, Breaking Bad, and it's just I'm gonna I'm going to really enjoy rewatching all of Better Call Saul and then go right on through uh, Breaking Bad. Uh, but yeah, Bob Odenkirk is doing good. 
thankfully, be safe. We don't need... There's so many politicians that I would rather see dead than Bob Odenkirk. There's so many actors I would rather see dead than Bob Odenkirk. Politicians more so than actors. But, uh, yeah, thankfully, nothing is wrong with Bob here. He's doing okay. Excited for the new season of whatever season they're on now of Better Call Saul. I don't even know if I'm caught up, but I love that show. Uh, it's always fun to, I, you know, binge whenever they release a new season on Netflix. Um, see here. COVID. Let's move on. Uh, U.S. reports highest numbers of new COVID-19 cases in the world. USA, 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 Trump's the president still. Trump's the vaccines are bad. I did research. This holistic doctor says the vaccines are the day. Stupidity is running rampant and causing death. Darwin, at his finest, is taking lives, taking names, uh... But yeah, the Delta variant is just... And then you have people in charge of states like Florida, DeSantis, just really going hard on the fact that uh, he wants everybody to just die in his state. And it's crazy because it's like they're voters. It's like he's only convincing his, the people that would actually vote for him to die. It is insane how ridiculously stupid these conservative politicians are, like, willingly eradicating their voting base from existence in order to, like, pretend to be, like, some kind of radical leader of freedom. And then you have some some Republicans, you know, leaders talking shit to their voters for not getting vaccinated after them, you know, going along with the quote unquote big lie of uh, the, the, the virus. It's just it's just so it's so laughably ridiculous how utterly horrible these people are in power in, in these states that, uh, like, the fact that people are on their side, believe th the same things, it's just, it's really sad to see how horrible our education system is. <laughs> like, this is what's happened. We just, we have a bunch of uneducated people who, uh, who think that uh, watching... You know, watching a few hours of a YouTube video is the same as decades of actual medical experience. Uh, I, I don't know. And then listening to people who, you know, call themselves doctors, you know? I mean, it's like, it, it's, it would be like listening to Dr. Dre give medical advice just because doctors in his name. It's stupid. It's so stupid. It's sad. It's really sad to see stupid people and then they like they get sick with COVID, and then they're in the hospital, and they're like begging nurses to give them the shot. It's like a little too little late there, buddy. A little late. It's like that's not how vaccines work. I know you think everything's magic. Is this just the easiest way to explain reality when you don't actually know anything? Just to just to describe it all as magic. It's God. Uh, you know, vaccines aren't magic. There's like there's a process to them becoming effective in your body. Uh, so it, it's just insane that this, this is the second wave. That was, the other one was just, I mean, that was just, uh, uh, you know, the second wave we had last summer was just, or last winter. When was the, the second, I mean, this is the second wave. I mean, numbers are basically where they were at pre-vaccine. But it's people unvaccinated that are causing these numbers, which is it's I mean, I haven't I haven't changed anything. I've said many times on here. I'm not going anywhere, even though I'd like to go see a movie. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still getting groceries delivered. I'm just I'm 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 like Bo Burnham. I'm inside, man. I'm just locked in a room creating shit. Uh, 
you know, crying now and then and just pushing through uh, anxiety and depression just to just to keep making more shit. Uh, but yeah, people are dying. Get vaccinated. Don't be stupid. It's like so insulting. Imagine spending your life studying science and then like people watching YouTube videos are, are like trying to dictate to you how, how like they, they, they just dis don't care at all about the sacrifice you made to devote your life to learning something. It's just, it's, it's, it's sad. It's sad. And here's another sad thing. Uh, last but not least, let's move on. Uh, America's dumbest restaurant only serves unvaccinated guests. In quotes, we have zero tolerance uh, for treasonous anti-American stupidity says the door on uh, Basilo, Basilco's uh, Pasta e Vino. Uh, it is stupid. First off, how do you prove it? I mean, how do you prove it? Just wear a MAGA hat, maybe an SS armband, uh, a swastika tattoo on your chest. I don't know. How do you plan it? Just like... You uh, you show up like your your YouTube screen time. It's like, look how many hours of studying I've done on YouTube. I'm unvaccinated. Let me eat here. I, it's just like signs like this are just as stupid as the business owners that post signs that are whining about people not wanting to work for the shitty pay that they're giving. Like they're insulting potential like. This is how our business is run. We insult people that, that don't want to work for us, that don't think we're paying enough. We're just going to insult you. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use our energy to uh, be a child about it. Uh, and this is another one of those childish things. I mean, not every business should succeed. There's plenty of businesses that are doing just fine and doing the right thing. I think it's important for businesses who want to stay open, especially now that the Delta variant is out and, and killing people, you know, the unvaccinated, really. But it is. It's people still get sick who are vaxxed. People still can get it. But, you know, they, they handle it a lot better with the vaccination. Like, if you really care about businesses, support the businesses that treat it seriously and that take care of their employees. Because the employees are the ones that have to deal with all these assholes that pretend like the, the pandemic doesn't exist. If it's not affecting them directly, it doesn't exist and it's not worth their time. Like it, it's, it's going to take them literally dying in a hospital before they, they stop believing in their bullshit. And employees have to deal with horrible people in general, people are horrible to customer service people. In general. But adding a new layer of where people can just really, they could potentially kill you or your family member by their ignorance and selfishness. So, fuck this restaurant. Uh, for the people, for the owners of uh, Basilico's Pasta e Vino. Uh, I hope that you get smallpox, polio, mumps, measles, uh, and COVID all in the same week. And I hope you die painfully. Painfully. I want you to regret every decision you've made as you lay in bed dying. I want you to look at your family watching you die because of your stupidity, your stupid ignorance that caused you to die, caused people around you to die because of your stupid reality that you want to create for yourself where you don't have to treat people with any amount of respect. Fuck you. Fuck your restaurant. Uh, whatever. 
Uh, so let's do some shout outs and get out of here. Shout out to BuzzFeed News, ABC News, and Vice News. That's it. But except for that, shout out to you, because that's the most important thing. Shout out to you. That was, that was the news. Get yourself $25 in new credit when you sign up for your great new cell phone service over at Ting. Go through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash Ting. Sign up now with that link, and you get yourself $25 to put towards a new device, put towards your service. But it's a great quality service that you do not pay an arm and a leg for. I love it. I've been using it for years and pay so very little. I could almost pay two months of my cell phone bill with $25 credit that you get for free when you go through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash ting. That's T-I-N-G, inspireddisorder.com slash ting. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspireddisorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!